What is going on YouTube? It's Flashback here. Today we're going to be playing some more Wreckfest here and we are done with the rap mod for the time being at least. We are going back to the additional parts monster. Otherwise known as a, I don't really remember, I think it's the AM3 if I remember right. I'm going to be doing some solo drifting here just to get back into the feel of this car. It's something I haven't really done in a whole long time. So without any further ado, let's get into this here. Before we do get too far into this, if you do want to see some more Wreckfest, some more consistent uploads, please remember to leave a like down below. Oh god, I definitely forgot how to drift. Wow. And I'll go ahead and throw this on there as well. If I, and I did this on my, uh, on yesterday's Dirt Track Racing video as well. If I see five likes in the next 24 hours on this video, I will be sure to get another Wreckfest video up in two days. And if it continues, at least five views of every video within 24 hours of, of it posting, I will continue to uh, put up a new Wreckfest video every 24 or every every other day. So roughly every 48 hours. I like to get into daily uploads between all of my videos and that's something I'm trying to work on here but I need to see the support I need to see uh, likes etc mostly to keep myself motivated to keep uploading on a daily basis but also to really show me what videos are popular what ones aren't and kind of gauge what series are kind of falling down the drain now, Wreckfest is a little bit of an unloved game right now by the devs in terms of updates. However, they are currently working on the story mode. On the campaign, I should say. The story mode camp campaign, whatever you want to call it. And that is something I'm looking forward to and I will be doing a playthrough of once it gets released. And I'll also hopefully be doing a playthrough of uh, Forza Horizon 3 when it comes out on PC of course but that's a topic a discussion for a whole another time I'm not gonna throw that into a video like this this is more of just I'm back I don't want to do just one mod I was really just doing that mod because there was a new update it seemed every day the uh, developer of the AM4 Piper which is a really fun car by the way if you haven't checked it out please uh, Please check out my videos covering the M4 Piper, Mark 1, 2, and 3. But anyway, the developer of that mod is currently done with that mod and is currently working on another project, his next project. I am not going to spoil what it is. Um, he may be down in the comments. He may even say what it is down below, but I will say right now, I am looking forward to it. It is something that I think this game needs and I think is going to open up a lot of possibilities in this game. And I hope to be his first tester in terms of in terms of uh, also what I'm looking for here uh, drivability of the vehicle, which would be really cool to be able to get uh, get into that. Especially considering what the vehicle is, I think there's a lot of fun things I can do with it, especially in a uh, multiplayer scenario. But again. You don't even know what the vehicle is, so that discussion is completely pointless for you, and I do apologize for that. Let's drift in first person a little bit. It's been a while since I drifted in first person in this car, so let's just see how it feels. It's nice having all that smoke back. It's one thing the AM4 Piper did not do well with smoke shows. This car, on the other hand, devours those tires. Oh, that was a wall tap. Go over a decent turn right there. Woo. Nice transition there. Very nice. Oh god, that's a wall. Did not keep it up. Get off the wall. Seriously, nice set. I really hate the current damage system implemented in this game really cool for racing but not so much for drifting granted that one really falls on me but still it's 
principle of the battle man if you're gonna have a damage system in the game make it to where right in the wall for a corner doesn't total the card I mean, it just doesn't make any sense I mean I suppose in real life it does but this isn't real life this is a game the point of the game is to have fun right A little bit of a wall tap in the apex of the corner, but it was fun nonetheless. I think actually, I actually have to stay at fifth for that corner. Oh! That was a hard hit. A very hard hit. If there's anything you'd like to see in particular in uh, Wreckfest here, whether it be more mod reviews, some more track reviews if I can find some. I know the Destruction Derby 2 track pack has updated a little bit. That's something I do want to cover. But there's been a lot of other things updated as well beyond that that don't really have a whole lot to them, but just a little bit. If you'd like to see more mod reviews, more mod gameplay, more drifting, more racing, more multiplayer, let me know down in the comments section what you want to see out of Wreckfest or just out of the channel in general. Go. And I'd like to maybe get into modding on this game. I think it'd be a lot, uh, little bit of fun, at least a little bit. Either modding or track designing, something along those lines. And while we're on the topic of modding and track designing, etc., I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it out there. I've been working for some time on a game of my own. I just keep on losing my saves because of corruption. It is a racing game, it is an open world racing game, more of like an adventure racing game if that makes any sense to anybody. And I'd like to work on it more, obviously it takes funding, or more, more specifically time. And right now I just, I've kind of lost motivation for it simply because I just don't have the time for it. I don't have, well, nobody even knows about it. Besides a few people that I've talked to about it, but otherwise nobody even knows that I that the game even exists in its current form, as current very basic dev kit form. Which actually right now that I think about it is a car model. And some basic physics that I tweak based on how I feel the game should run at the time. It's changed like four times. But yeah, if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, kind of, uh, development phases and such, uh, let me know in the comment section, let, uh, wow, well, let me know down in the comment section, and if I see enough support for that, I will definitely, uh, start doing, uh, dev updates in, on this channel, I think that'd be kind of cool. That corner is just too long. Oh god, oh god, oh god, rewind. Smash that wall. But I think we're gonna end it here, folks. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Wreckfest. A game very near and dear to my heart. Taken after a game that used to be very near and dear to my heart. Way back in the day. Way, way back in the day. Oh called Destruction Derby. I know many of you are familiar with it, especially people interested in Wreckfest. Kind of is what made Destruction Derby, or made the PS1 for me, was Destruction Derby 2. I never owned a PS2, so I can't comment on that version. Anyway, like I said, that is going to be it for this one. And like I said earlier, if you do enjoy this and would like to see more of this, remember to hit that like button. And again, if I do see enough likes, I will be doing many, 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 much more consistent uploads simply because of motivations there. I mean, I'm going to try to do them as often as I can anyway, but having those extra likes on a video just motivates me to basically get them done a lot more often. And honestly, if I can see those likes, see that support, I guarantee there will be another video in the 48 hours. I can personally guarantee that. Come on, get off the wall. You're going to lose another tire. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment if you have anything to say about my horrendous driving skills. And we will see you next time. Until then, as always, drift it easy. I mean, take it easy.
Bye. Oh. Heh, <laughs> GG.